Okay, chickadees and buckaroos, now we're going to look at the math activities for week 6.2, okay? Remember that on this page, these videos, you can see these videos on YouTube, okay? And they'll explain a little bit about what we're doing for math this week. This week you have two assignments or two activities for math, okay? Let's look at the first. Here we have, oh, look at those pretty flowers. This is the target question. Let's read the target question together. There are six daisies in the pot on the left. Hay seis margaritas en la maceta de la izquierda. Let's count the six daisies. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are nine tulips on the pot on the right. Hay nueve tulipanes en la maceta aquí a la derecha. Let's count the nine tulips. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Look at Monday's question. Are there more daisies or more tulips? Which pot has more flowers? Is it the daisies or is it the tulips? After you tell me the name of the flower, then it has a second question. How many more? ¿Cuántas más flores hay en esa maceta que en la otra maceta? Okay. Look at number two, uh, Tuesday, not number two, Tuesday. If two daisies are picked, oh, so let's use our picture here. If somebody comes and picks two daisies, so I'm going to cross out two daisies. How many are left in the pot? ¿Cuántas um, margaritas no, nos quedan en la maceta? Write your answer here. Look at Wednesday. If, oh, let me erase this in case we don't need that anymore. Ooh. Okay. If five tulips are picked, five tulips. Let's cross out five tulips. One, oops, one, two, three, four, five. If five tulips are picked, how many tulips are left in the pot? ¿Cuántas tulipanes nos quedan en la maceta? Let me erase that. Let's see if I can erase it. Those are small marks. Okay, okay. Good. Yay! Erase them all. Okay, look at Thursday. How many more daisies are needed to make a total of 10 daisies in the pot? ¿Cuántas más margaritas necesitamos para que sean 10 margaritas? Well, how many do we have right now? We have six, right? Six daisies. And they want to know how many more we need to make 10. So what's the missing number right there? Okay, look at Friday. If there is one more tulip that you cannot see. O si hay una, un tulipan más que no se puede ver. What is the total number of tulips in the pot? ¿Cuántas serían? Si hay una florecita allí, escondidita por allí, ¿cuántas serían? Bueno, ya tenemos nueve. We already have nine. And we are making sure there's one more. Nine plus one more que no podemos ver, we cannot see. How many is that? Okay? That was activity number one. Easy peasy. Let's go to activity number two. Let me turn my page. Okay. Here is activity number two. Remember that the letters down here a, B, C, D, E, and F, they go with the squares or the boxes up here. A, B, C, D, E, and F. Okay. Look at the first one. It says, name the shape. What shape is this? ¿Cómo se llama esta figura? What's the name of the shape? You're going to write it right here. 
How many sides does it have? ¿Cuántos lados tiene esta figura? How many sides does it have? How many vertices? Las vertices son las esquinas. Right here. How many vertices does it have? And then this one that says, is it a polygon? A polygon means that it has more than three sides, or three sides or more, okay? If you don't do this one, it's okay. You don't have to do that one, okay? Look at C. C. It, let's see what it says. It says a sphere. What is a sphere? Una esfera, ¿verdad? A sphere... Let's see if I can draw one. I'm going to draw a sphere right here. A sphere is like a ball. It's not like a circle, but it's a ball. It's 3D, 3D. Okay, imagínense una pelota. It's a sphere. It's perfectly round. Está perfectamente redonda. It's a 3D shape. And does it have a side? ¿Tendrá un lado la esfera? Remember, a side... A side is flat. Es plano un lado. Como aquí. Do you see this right here? That's a side because it's flat. Does a sphere have a side? Hmm. So which one doesn't belong? ¿A cuál de estas tres cosas no va con esta figura? Con una esfera. Que es perfectamente redonda. It's perfectly round. That it's 3D. It's a 3D shape. Like a ball. Or that it has one side. Y aquí me van a escribir, okay? Look at D. D is the, these three numbers. It says copy and fill in the sum. So you're going to write the numbers. 2 plus 3 plus 3. And then tell me the sum. What is the sum? And now, look at E. You're still using these same numbers. Estamos usando los mismos números. Change the order of the atoms. Cambien la orden de estos tres números. It can be 3, 2, 3. Or you could do 3 plus 3 plus 2. And is the total going to be the same? ¿El total va a ser igual, sí o no? Yes, it should stay the same. Okay. Now look at F. We're here in this rectangle. 42, 30. Write the numbers in order. Van a escribir los números en orden. Déjame borro estos para que vean mejor. You're going to write the numbers in order. But look, it's going from the number 40 to the number 30. Va de un número grande a un número chico. Entonces estamos contando al revés. We're counting backwards. So if I have 40 right here, I can't write that small with my finger. There's 40. Then 30 is going to go down here. What numbers go in between? How do I get from 40 to 30? ¿Cómo llego a 30 de 40? Estoy contando al revés. And you're going to write the missing numbers, okay? Let me erase this so we can... Okay. Now let's look at the gold side. El lado derecho. We have A. We're using this base, this 10 frame. And you're using B, C, D, and E. You're using this number here. Okay? Let's look at A. We have this, Luna's barking again, I'm sorry. We have these numbers right here, these ones. We're going to write the number. So how many can you count here, Luna? Sorry, boys and girls. How many can you count here? You're going to write the number right there. Now look at B. You have 40 for B. 40. You're going to first... You're going to draw them here. How can you draw 40? Remember, we're using 10s like this, and we're using 1s like little dots. Do we have 100 here? Does this 40 equal 100? No. So we're not even using these. So how can I draw 
40. I'm going to help you with one, okay? If I'm using my ones, if I'm using the ones, los chiquitos, how many of those do I need to make 40? How many do you think I need? I need to draw 40 of those dots. Do I want to draw 40 of those dots? Probably not. It's going to take a long time. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to take some tens and I'm going to draw them right here. I'm going to draw 10, 20, 30. And then how many ones do I need to make 40? I have 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So there, I drew it one way. I drew 40 one way. Can you come up with another way to draw 40? Remember, we don't have hundreds. So what's another way that you can draw 40? That's your job, okay? So look at C. Write the expanded form. This one is easy. I know you probably think it's hard, but it's easy. The expanded form. So the expanded form means that a number plus a number equals the 40. And usually this is your tens and this is your ones. So look at the number 40. How many ones do we have in the number 40? None. We don't have any. But how many tens do we have? We have 40. Okay, that's, I already did it for you. Okay, let me erase that. You can see the rest. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, that one doesn't matter. This okay. Look at the D. So we're still working with the number forty. Seguimos trabajando con el número cuarenta para la letra D. What is one more? Remember when we did this? Let me draw it for you. Forty. There's my square. Remember when we did this in class, boys and girls, on the hundreds chart? This side is plus 1, this side is minus 1, up here is minus 10, and down here is plus 10. This is where you're going to write your answers. What is one more from 40? What would come next from 40 and what would go here? You're going to write that number there. What is one less, uno menos que 40? You write it right there. What is 10 more from 40? What if I add 10 more to 40? What do we get? And then what is 10 less? What goes up here? What is 10 menos de 40? And then look at E. Here we have a number line. It says write the number in the box. So you would write the number 40 right here. 40. Okay. And all you have to do is fill in the rest of the number line. What comes after 40? 41 would go there. 42, all the way to the end. And then you'll have to count backwards this way. 39, 38. And keep going all the way to the end over here. Okay? And that's it, boys and girls. That is activity one and activity two for math. Now remember, and you can write your answers here. Um, remember, you do not have to do, you don't have to do science. I am giving you full credit for science. Les estoy dando el crédito completo para ciencias y seguros sociales. Así que si no lo entregan, van a recibir un grado completo. Si, si lo entregan, van a recibir el mismo grado completo. Okay, you're still going to receive full credit for science and social studies, but you don't have to do it. No lo tienen que hacer. No hagan ciencias y seguros sociales. Es mi manera de poder este, alivianarles poquito el trabajo. Okay? And the specials bingo, you can do this for fun. Este, este bingo para PE, arte y música es solo de diversión. 
esos maestros, los coaches, la, la, la maestra de música y la maestra de arte, les están dando a todos los niños de la escuela una calificación para pasar. No, nadie va a reprobar el año, ¿ok? Ok, boys and girls, that is the assignment, or the two assignments for math, ¿ok? Activity. activities is five activities for 6.2. You have three for reading and two for math. Okay? Don't forget, if you have any questions, you can call me. Um, I'm still here working from home, and I hope you're still at home being safe and taking care of yourself, okay? See you later, alligators.